back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to create this makeup look and this is a holiday Christmas makeup look and you have the white, green and also the red so you have the green and the white on the eyes then you also have the red on the lips and I absolutely love this makeup. I think it looks really Christmassy and I've never actually done green eyeliner before. It's taken me really out of my comfort zone but I really do love it and I'm really excited to show you guys how to create this look and it is really easy to create the eye look. You only use a couple of products and it's really quick and easy to do. So if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure to hit the bell icon just so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So I'm really excited to show you this makeup look and as you can see I have put my Christmas tree up and I will be uploading a vlog very soon on my channel so you can see all of the decorations I have on there. It's also a Christmas decoration haul as well and this is one of my favourite things that I have on my Christmas tree. This is a nutcracker and I absolutely love nutcrackers and it makes me feel even more Christmassy having the Christmas tree up as well and it's also pre-lit. You can see a couple of the lights around here as well so I really love Christmas and I'm really really excited for Christmas Day as well so I hope that you enjoy this video and if you want to see how to create this makeup look then just keep watching so the first thing I'm doing is priming my skin and for this I'm using a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is one of my favourite primers and I've used this for every single tutorial for the last year because I absolutely love it. Then I'm going ahead and primer my lids using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is one of my favourite concealers, it counteracts all of the redness and the shade Nude is perfect for me when I have a self tan and matches my foundation perfectly as well. Then I'm setting all of this into place using my Collection Sheer Loose Powder. For the whole eyeshadow look I'm using my Morphe 35F palette and the first colour that we're going into is a transition shade and this is a really nice warm brown shade and I did want it to be a warm colour because for the rest of the eye look we are using cool tone shades and I'm just buffing this into the crease and I'm building this up a couple of times. The next shade that I'm taking is this stunning bright white shimmer shade I'm just patting this all over the lid because I just want it to look a little bit more intense and this is so highly pigmented and I absolutely love the way that this looks so I pat this all over the lid and I'm going ahead and going back in with my transition shade to build that up a little bit more then I'm patting a little bit more of this shade onto the lid again just to give it a bit more of an intense look. I'm doing my favourite part of the eyes and this is a part that I feel like puts the whole of the makeup look together. So I'm using two green eyeliners. The first one that I'm using is the NYX Slide On Eye Pencil in the shade Esmeralda. This is just a gorgeous shade. It's very highly pigmented and it lasts all day on the lids as well. So I'm just putting this on the upper waterline. And the next eyeliner I'm using is the NYX Vivid Whites Liquid Liner in the shade Vivid Envy. And I think these two colours go amazingly together and I'm really out of my comfort zone using green eyeliner. But I love the way that it looks. And with this eyeliner I'm doing a simple flick and I love the way that this eyeliner dries down very quickly and has a matte finish and for mascara I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I'm just applying one layer to upper lashes and then for eyelashes I'm using my favourite Eyelaw 115s and these are lengthening eyelashes and they look so beautiful with this eye look I didn't want the lashes to be thick and full I just wanted them to be nice and long because I didn't want to take the look away from the green eyeliner I'm moving on to the rest of the face and the first thing I'm doing are my eyebrows and I'm using my NYX micro brow in the shade Ash Brown. I love the way this makes my eyebrows look, they just look really nice and full and it gives them a really great shape as well. And for foundation, I'm using my favourite Holy Grail Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I use this all the time and I've used it in pretty much every single makeup tutorial. It just stays put all day, it looks really flawless and it just gives a really nice coverage as well. And then for concealer, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. This is one of my favourite concealers because it gives really nice full coverage, lasts all day and it doesn't cake under the eyes as well. And I'm setting all of this into place using my Collection Sheer Loose Powder. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. 
And while I'm waiting for this to settle into the skin, I'm bronzing up my skin using my Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is also another one of my favourites. I love the colour of this. It suits me with every skin tone. It blends out incredibly and it just looks so nice on the skin. And when I've finished bronzing my skin, I'm taking a large powder brush and just brushing off all of the excess powder that we've put on over the top of the concealer. Then I'm going ahead and finishing off the brows using my Essence Make Me Brow. And then I'm finishing off the eyes using the pencil eyeliner and putting this on the outer third of the eye on the lower waterline. And then I'm applying my CoverGirl Super Size Mascara on the lower lashes. <laughs> To finish off the rest of the face, I'm using my MAC blush in the shade Spring Sheen, and this is my favourite blush from MAC. I just love it, I use it all the time, and I use it in pretty much all of my makeup tutorials. And then to highlight, I'm taking my Smashbox and Casey Home Spotlight Palette, and I'm just mixing the two lighter shades together, and I'm applying this on all of the parts of my face where I want to add a bit more of a highlight, so I'm adding it on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and then also on my brow bone as well. I don't wanna miss a beat. And for the red lips, I'm taking two products from MAC. The lip liner is in the shade Red Brick and the lipstick is in the shade Ruby Woo. And I love the way that these two products look together. The red is just perfect for every skin tone and it's just a classic Christmas red and you can't do a Christmas makeup tutorial without doing the red lips. So this is my finished makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed this video and make sure that you give it a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!